Good morning and happy Sunday. Can I get a Welcome point back up? to Welcome back to my channel, Coupons with Kelly. I'm so happy you're here joining me for another oh, Walgreens video. Four. I've got a whole group of people with me in the car. Four, We're heading into Walgreens to do some deals. I have a digital spend booster of spend $25, get $7 in Walgreens cash. And I'm gonna kinda try to see if I can work the system and see if I can combine that with a paper booster. So if you are new to my channel, thank you for being here. Um, if you have not yet, go ahead and click that red subscribe button and give me a thumbs up if you like this video and let's go check out some deals. Okay, the first deal that we are looking for are the household essentials that Walgreens has on special this week for $1.99. And this is for the trash bag. And I was looking at the trash bags and then the toilet paper is also $1.99. And I realized that the trash bags the ones that I really wanted with the tall kitchen bags, and that was not what I wanted. So I ended up putting those back and grabbing the freezer bags because we always need freezer bags. So I grabbed those, put those in my cart for $1.99, and put the, the bags back. And sure enough, here we are with a Spend 40, Get 9 paper booster. Alright, so first thing in my spend deal is these Colgate toothpaste for $3.99. I have a $2 digital coupon that will come off and then I'm going to come down here and grab a toothbrush for $3.99 with also a $2 coupon attaching to that. I will get both of these and get $4 off and get a $4 register reward and I'll use these for blessing bags at church. And then these uh, Vitafusion vitamins are once again on sale. Buy one, get one 50% off. I have a really high value $10 coupon that I will go ahead and use and um, to lower this and I'll submit Tribata for $5 back. All right, so I'm getting close to my $40 and I'll go ahead and combine all of that. And I came over and grabbed the emergency. These little packs were actually really not that expensive. They were $6. And then the second one will be 50% off at $3 and you'll get a $5 register reward, which is a store coupon, not a manufacturer. All right, so here is my spend 40, get $9 in Walgreens cash and spend 25, get $7 in Walgreens cash. All right, now that I've got all that Walgreens cash, I'm gonna do some grocery shopping. The Cheez-Its are buy one, get one free at $3 a box. And then the cashews are buy one get one free. And the Doritos are buy one get one free at $5.59 a bag. And the cashews are five dollars And then I have a Valentine's Day card. I should put my total over $20. And then I have a $3 coupon for that card. And so that'll put me to $20. And I'll use that to buy one. Alright, so we are out of the Walgreens. And the deals actually went really, really well. I actually do not have to contact Walgreens customer service for the first time in about a month. Everything went through. Um, yeah, so I did, I did, you'll see in the video, I um, did kind of go grab one thing that was small and use some Walgreens cash and, sh Walgreens cash, and then sure enough, a paper spend booster spit out and it was a spend 40, get $9. So I combined that with my digital and got a really great moneymaker deal. And then all that Walgreens cash that I earned, I then just kind of poured into getting some groceries for the family. So once we get back home, I'll show you how everything went and um, show you the receipts and everything that we got today. So see you in a little bit. So we are back home and this is my Walgreens haul for this week. I was able to take advantage of some good spend boosters and go ahead and let me just walk you through what I ended up doing. Everything that's on this side of the table is kind of what I do with my spend boosters. And then this is what I use my Walgreens cash on over here. All right, so let me just start with my first haul. I'm gonna ahead and just tie this in, the, um, the very first that you saw in the video, the very first small transaction I did. The, there's a bunch of different Walgreens brand um, household essentials that are on sale this week for $1.99. So, we've got playing going on in the background. So. I went and checked out and used two dollars of Walgreens cash and basically just had to pay 11 cents and so then I that's where I showed you in the video where I had gotten the spend 40 get nine dollars in Walgreens cash and I paired that in with the the other 
um, haul that I did with the vitamins and the emergency and the Colgate toothpaste and toothbrush. And here is that. Yes, there were cheaper options for these, but this is what we use. This is what my family uses. So I wanted, I mean, I'm gonna get what we need and what we're gonna use. So one bottle was $16.99 and then 50% off. The other one is $8.49. The emergency packets, one was six dollars and then the other one was 50 percent off at three dollars and the colgate 3.99 and 3.99 that brought my total to about 42 46 so i hit the 25 dollar mark and the 40 dollar mark it does not st it those stack so you you just have to hit the higher number of the booster the spend booster and so i had her scan that and I had two $4 register rewards that I used to lower my out-of-pocket. That $10 for the vitamins came off. The $4 for the emergency came off. And then the two $2 for the Colgate came off as well. So that left me to pay $16.46. If you do not have these two register rewards, then, of course, your total would be $8 higher at $24.46. And, of course, my tax was this amount, but that was um, – it's different for everyone. I got the $5 wellness register reward that is a store coupon that I can use on a future purchase. I was kind of bummed that that was a store coupon, not manufacturer. Then I got the $4 manufacturer coupon for the Colgate. I submitted these two back to Ibotta for $5. Then I got the $16 from the $9 from the paper booster and the seven from the digital spend booster. So it made this whole small little haul over here with all that coming back, a $3.55 moneymaker, which if you take that in consideration, paying tax and everything, it made it free. So I made lots of Walgreens cash. My Walgreens cash balance after that ended up being $47.35. So you can see this at the end of my receipt. My opening balance, I earned this much, and this was my closing balance. So I knew that I had enough. I was going to do a transaction to help with groceries so that I would pay $20 in Walgreens cash. So that is where this haul came in. Cheez-Its this week are buy one, get one free at $3. It's a small, it's a small box of them, but that's okay. We, I, I'm fine with that. So $3 and then the other one, of course, is free. The cashews are buy one at five twenty nine and get the other one free. The Doritos are at five dollars and fifty nine cents a bag, but you get another one free. Not the best deal, but I was using Walgreens cash. And then I had to get this Valentine's Day card for my husband. So I was gonna um, use that for Valentine's Day. We love the office, and so when I saw that, I had to get it. And it is normally this price but I had a $3 coupon. I was worried that it wasn't gonna come off and sure enough, it did. So you'll see here that $3 coupon came off. So that left my subtotal at $21.46 before tax. And then I redeemed $20 in Walgreens cash and I used my PayPal debit card to pay the $1.95 left. All right, so lots of good deals at Walgreens this week. There were plenty more that I could have done, but I just figured this was definitely stuff that we were gonna use and wanted to have in my stockpile and that we would pretty much use right away. So hopefully you all have some great ideas now to go shopping at Walgreens. Have a great week, happy shopping.